uh, my great pleasure to introduce the Consul General of the Republic of Poland, Mr. Daniel Roman. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure and privilege to be here and to shortly unveil this magnificent painting. Um, I have to tell you, this is something that I've said on numerous occasions already, but most of you were not there, so I can repeat it here safely, that it is a very comfortable situation for me as Polish Consul General to be able to go to various events and sort of seemingly take a little bit of credit for the good things that are happening without really contributing in any way to it. Um, but this is, I'm, I'm talking about cultural events and uh, cultural functions, but this is only possible thanks to the strength of the Polish culture and the Polish cultural heritage. And I think that the painting which we are going to see in, in a few minutes is one of, the, one of the prime examples of this. And I think it's symbolic of the strength of our culture in at least several ways. And the first uh, way in which it is symbolic, of course, is uh, the author of the, um, of the painting, uh, Mr. Johansson, who is of Polish, uh, has some Polish heritage, uh, ancestry in his family on his mother's side. Uh, and this is so very, and he, and he recognizes it. Uh, he admits on his website, the poetry in my work is not conscious. It comes from the spirits of my heritage that live in me. So a part of it is, I believe, the Polish heritage. Uh, but it's, it's much more, uh, there are many more other symbols. One of them is, as you will certainly know, the painting will go to Olsztyn, a town in Poland, because it was, uh, it was made for um, the new building of the uh, Olsztyn, the music center and recital hall for the Felix Nowowiejski Philharmonic Orchestra in Olsztyn. And it will be a part of the World Art Exhibition in that building. Now, um, Olsztyn is a city that is in the 22nd place in Poland as far as the number of inhabitants is concerned. And of course I don't have the list, I don't know the list of Polish cities by heart, but I did look it up. It's in the 22nd place with 176,000 inhabitants. Uh, and I'm saying this just to, to show you that there is a Philharmonic Orchestra in Olsztyn. So in the third it's not even in the, the first 20 cities in Poland, not a very big place actually by any standards, but there is a Philharmonic Orchestra which in itself is a sign that the cultural life there is very strong and you can imagine that in all of the bigger cities and many of the other smaller cities in Poland there are Philharmonic Orchestras as well and artists playing wonderful music and people going to concerts. Uh, another sort of symbolic element I think is that the painting is called um, the 600-year-old song, or Sześćsetletnia Pieś in Polish, uh, please repeat, 600-year-old um, <laughs> song. So again, this is a, a, a symbol of, of how long, how, 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 what a long way back our culture goes. And when I actually, when I think of Polish songs, very old Polish songs, so actually the oldest one I can think of, it is, uh, it's called Bogorodzica, uh, dedicated to Virgin Mary. It's a, a religious hymn, but it was also a sort of military anthem at the time. And when I say at the time, I mean going back even more than 600 years, which of course here is a reference to Austin, but um, going at back at least over 700 years to the 14th century, or even a little earlier perhaps, because the song, that song, Bogorodzica, was sung at, by our troops at Grunwald, uh, which as you may know or may not know was uh, the place where a great battle took place back in 1410, uh, which was a decisive moment for, for that part of Europe. Uh, the Polish forces, alongside with Lithuanian forces, defeated the Teutonic Knights. And it was a great victory, and they sang that song. So we do have very, very old songs indeed. Uh, well, there are other um, elements which are very strongly related to the strength of the Polish culture in the painting that I will, like Felix Nowowiejski, Chopin. You already know that there's music of Chopin in it, of course. Uh, how could we have anything about Polish culture without Chopin? Uh, there is also a reference to Nicholas Copernicus, the great Polish astronomer, but I will not go into details because I understand Tony will, will do that. 
Um, so let me just express again my my great pleasure and say that it is my great privilege to know that this painting will be part of the World Art Exhibition in this new Philharmonic building, building of the Austin Philharmonic Orchestra. Uh, and it will be the representative of Australia because, they, as you may, you probably know, the idea is that artists from all around the world were asked to provide a piece of their art for that particular building, and so there's going to be an exhibition of works from all around the world, and this will be the, the representative of Australia uh, in that gallery. So it is my great pleasure to, I'd like to congratulate uh, Mr. Johansson on, Johansson on uh, creating this a uh, great piece of art, and uh, it is my great pleasure to officially unveil it.